to Tanya. Now it's time for Jackie's Juveniles. Jackie Jarvis has this week gone to visit John Weems' yard to see a filly called Dark Opal, who should be running at air this Thursday. Ashgill Stables, situated by the historic High and Low Moor Gallops in Midlam, North Yorkshire, is where a two-year-old out of the John Weems yard is the latest juvenile under our spotlight. So John, why did you choose this filly as your horse to follow? From day one when we bought her at Tats in Ireland, she was um, very athletic, real good step on her, um, real sweet filly. So uh, we, we obviously bought her, brought her back. She was a real gem to break in, real easy to do everything with. Um, got her back, got her going, and she's just done everything right from day one, really. This filly is by Camacho, who was a good sprinter himself, and he was sired the likes of Humidor, group winner Puff, and good two-year-old Star Rover. She is out of a winning mare called Dark Albatross, who is by another top sprinter in Sheikh Albadou. The first thing that strikes you about this filly is that she's very keen to get on with everything. She's on her toes and looking around. That's a good sign because it means she's keen to go. When she walks, she's very athletic and every muscle in her body moves. And what sort of work would you be doing with her now? Um, you'll see her just canter a stiff six up the back with a lead horse and another two-year-old and they'll just gradually wind the pace up and just let them quicken up the last hill. They all get trained individually here. Um, Two-year-olds, it's like a class of kids at school, we bring them along and then you get ones which are at the top of the class, sort of February time, and then the ones at the bottom can come along and catch the others up. Um, so basically, the, we train them as all individuals. And why do you think she was so cheap at the sales? Because she only cost 5,000 euros? Yeah, um, I'm not sure really. Uh, we, we went to the stud and had a look at another one and she was in the box next door and we watched her walk and we, we said this is the one we want to be buying. I think Nigel Tinkler was interested in her as well but uh, we sort of done the deal first. And when you have an exciting filly like this, is there a buzz around the yard? Yeah, especially when you start to give them a kick in the belly um, and they look like they've got a few extra gears. It's, you know, the, the old guy who works for his smile and when you see him smiling and um, all excited, you normally know you've got something special. John's filly should be out in the next month or so. Your card has been marked. 